Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. Welcome to another love reading for Sagittarius Spirit. What messages do you have for Sagittarius? Okay. For Sagittarius, please, in regards to love. Guys, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? One more. All right, let's see. Okay, we start off with the strength card reversed. Hmm. Leo energy. Eight of cups reversed and the sun on your end here. This is your energies here. Okay, let's see what's going on in your connection. Justice, Libra energy and the three of swords reversed. Wow. Justice is coming in to fix something, to repair something. On your person's energy, we have the Six of Wands reversed and the Seven of Cups reversed. I think I played myself here because I don't think I have enough room. <laughs> Hang on. I just might. In your future, we have the Ten of Cups. Wow. This is like happy endings, happiness, fulfillment, joy, good news, celebration, all good stuff. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Cups reverse in the sun. I feel like um, hmm, I don't want to kind of jump the gun here, but it's almost like you're hoping for a return of some sort. Oops. Let's see, let's get more energies here about this connection. Something here, it's like you're focused on your own happiness or something that regarding this connection, this person will be making you very happy. Let's see, Sorry, tell me more about this connection because something is being made right with justice here. Tell me more what's going on in this connection for Sagittarius. Okay, we have codependency, sort of unhealthy attachment of some sort. Tell me more about this connection. Children. Okay, there could be children involved or someone's probably not mature enough to do something. Can I get one more please? For Sagittarius. Now keep in mind this is a general love reading so it will be not resonate with every single one of you. Finances and career so you'll know pretty soon if this is your reading. Don't try to make it fit if it's not just check out my playlist for Sagittarius there might be something there for you. Finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Hmm I don't Okay, some of you, definitely there is a child involved or possibly an, uh, more than one. I have two cards here that are making me think about children. Three cards, actually. Because the Ten of Cups is a card about a family. Um, the Seven of Cups reverse on your person's end here. This could be that someone did not make the right choice because there has been some sort of lack of success or delayed success or perhaps this person didn't recognize something important and it could be because they weren't mature enough or perhaps there's some sort of um unhealthy attachment between you or maybe one of you is dealing with an unhealthy attachment due to finances let's clarify this and get more information i'm going to use this deck spirit tell me more Or Sagittarius tell me more we're gonna dig into how you feel about each other later on in the reading but for now I kind of want to get an idea of what's going on because I feel like this is gonna be a lot of moving parts so we'll see let me clarify spirit for Sagittarius let's start with the strength card reverse 
usually this card is a card about maybe someone not feeling strong enough or brave enough to deal with something. This could be that something has sapped your strength. Um, it could be that there's a situation that's out of control and maybe you're trying to do too much. So let's see, why is strength reverse? Which one is it? Could also be dealing with a Leo or someone with Leo in their chart. Why is the strength reverse? Queen of Wands. Okay, can I get one more, please? The Magician. So I feel like this is someone that's not brave enough to make something happen or does not have the ability to make something happen that they really, really want with the Magician and the Queen of Wands. Can I get one more, please? My strength reverse. Ten of Wands. Perhaps because, yeah, this is almost like someone's not strong enough to make something happen or has too much going on in their life that's preventing them from making something happen. I have the Death card reverse. Could be that someone's holding on to a cycle or a chapter that should have been closed or should have ended. Feel like someone who could be resisting change perhaps because they're not they don't know how things are going to play out and so it causes them to hesitate to not make moves here this queen of wands could be you sagittarius or it could be um the energy of someone wanting to take a risk to go after what they want to be bold um i feel like there's a like a back and forth here uh, because it's almost like um, I have two cards about getting something done and then I have two cards about almost being uh, overwhelmed or carrying a heavy load, maybe being tired. Um, let's see, why is the Justice card here? Let's get some more information. Why is Justice here? It could be a legal matter. I'm going to put these exactly how I saw them on the ground. So the Four of Pentacles and the Five of Cups in limbo here. Hmm. With the Knight of Pentacles reverse, it's almost like... Um, I'm picking up this energy of um, maybe this took a long time to happen. And so maybe um, a, lo a lot of time has passed here. I feel like this is an opportunity that's very slow in arriving. I'm also picking up financial difficulties here. I also have the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles tends to be a card about um, protection, saving, being frugal, being careful, um, being greedy. Why is the Four of Pentacles with the Five of Cups down here? Why is the Four of Pentacles with the Five of Cups down here? Oh no, that's way too many. That's what happens when you have these little tiny decks. If it doesn't feel right, I'm not going to take it. Page of Wands reverse. Yeah, so this is something that... Maybe you've been waiting for it and never really took off here. And this could be a lot of uh, very different things. I'm going to keep clarifying to see. This could be a message or an offer from someone uh, that you've been waiting for that has taken a long time to get to you. Um, with the Five of Cups here, this is something regarding the past. So um, I feel like if this is a connection with um, another person specifically here, it's a connection that's been through it. Uh, there's a lot of baggage here. Um, if this is not your connection with this person, one of you in this connection is dealing with this. So take it as it resonates. I feel like there's something here, this very stop and go energy, the Page of Wands reverse cannot complete a task. Um, they take one step, two steps forward and four steps back, that kind of energy. I have the Queen of Cups at the bottom, so I feel like this Whatever this is with this Knight of Pentacles um, and the Justice card, I feel like it's tied to emotions, love, possibly. 
Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles reverse. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles reverse. Knight of Swords reverse. I feel like this is about speed. This is very slow. Can I get one more? For this Knight of Pentacles reverse. Let's see if I'm right about that. Temperance. Yes, this is about timing. There you are, Sagittarius, showing up to your own reading here. I feel like this is possibly divine timing or something you've been waiting for to come together. I feel like this is regarding you. This is related to you in some way here. Why is the Three of Swords reversed? What's this about here? Eight of Cups. Then we have the Eight of Cups twice. Why is the Three of Swords? We have the Page of Cups and the Five of Swords. I feel like someone, um, this Page of Cups, I feel is an apology. Uh, it's almost like someone, um, hmm. Tell me about this Five of Swords before I say that. Spirit, please clarify this Five of Swords, please. The Emperor Reverse, Aries Energy. This is another card about time, the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like this is something that has taken a long time to come together. Um, a lot of time has passed in this connection. And I feel like um, someone could have walked away here. And whoever walked away, I think they're trying to repair this. They're trying to bring back balance here. Two cards about balance. Um, I feel like they've tried and it hasn't happened. I don't know if you've blocked this person from communicating with you or there's just something in the way because the Three of Swords Reverse could, um, uh, could suggest an interference and then the Emperor Reverse is someone that cannot make things happen. I feel like there's someone here in the middle, uh, something that's not quite coming together for you and this person or whatever's not coming together here is affecting this connection. And I feel like this Eight of Cups is related to this Eight of Cups reverse, almost like you're waiting for whatever person walked away to come back to you. And it doesn't have to be that you want them to return to have a relationship, although that can be the case. It could also be that you just want an apology. You just want closure. So let's get some insight into how you feel about each other and what's going on between you. I have you on this side and I have your person on the other, but it can be flipped if it resonates more. I'm using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This is linked down below if you're interested in getting your own deck. Spirit, tell me more about the energies that Sagittarius and this person are bringing to this connection. Tell me about Sagittarius. What are the energies that Sagittarius is bringing? Falling leaves, changes, transition, and time. Time changes everything. Yeah, another card about time. Let's see if I can move my tripod without ruining everything. We'll see. Okay, here we go. Huh? Okay. Okay, tell me about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with. So I feel like you're going through some sort of change or transition, or again, I feel like if that's not the case, you've been waiting a long time for something. Tell me about this person that Sagittarius is dealing with. This one. Coming together, beautiful. This is one of my favorite cards. Reunion, destiny, meeting. Destiny has brought you together. At least this is this person's focus, is to come together in some way. And oh my God. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, I have divine timing. So yes, timing is, that's why I keep getting that message. This could be a divine timing at play here. Uh, divine timing bringing something together or bringing something into balance. So let's clarify your energies for each other here. Spirit, tell me more about these energies between Sagittarius and this person. Tell me if this is resonating down in the comments. Of course, it won't resonate with all of you, and that's okay. Not every reading is meant 
for you every single time. So let's see, why is the Eight of Cups reverse? Can't wait to kind of get some more information here. Why is the Eight of Cups reverse? Five of Swords reverse. Five of Swords here. So something happened. Something, something happened. Um, and I feel like the Five of Swords reverse is about a reconciliation. Like let's not fight anymore. Um, whatever argument or conflict there was, let's kind of not fight anymore or let's resolve it. Tell me about the Eight of Cups reverse. Knight of Cups reverse. I feel like there's been a lot of heartbreak here. Can I get one more please? Why is the Eight of Cups reverse? King of Swords. And then I have the Queen of Cups reverse. So yes, definitely. Um, you know what I'm getting? It's like someone wants to have a, a conversation without a lot of emotion or not let their emotions get in the way here of whatever conversation needs to take place. Um, I feel like in the past, maybe that has been a problem, maybe um, heated arguments or a situation where there's an unhealthy um, element and it causes problems. Uh, maybe the way that you communicate with this person, maybe the way that you address problems or the way that your relationship um, has developed or, or the things that go on in your relationship, it's going to be different for all of you. Um, I feel like there's something that needs to happen with this King of Swords, some sort of conversation or clarity. Tell me about this King of Swords. Tell me about this King of Swords. <laughs> the Queen of Cups reversed again. So, okay, can I get another one, please, for the King of Swords? Page of Wands. This is, okay, so this is all about a message. A message here. Bottom of the deck here, I have the Six of Pentacles reversed. So I feel like the message is, or the conversation is going to be regarding a lack of balance. Something's not quite right. You're not on the same page or perhaps what you want out of the connection they're not really in that same i don't know it's almost like there's um um one of you is giving more than the other in some way but for some reason i feel like that's you both feel the same way <laughs> it's like this person when they think of you or when they, when they um connect with you whatever the case may be um, if you're talking with them or not, it's like whatever, how, however, in whatever way they think of you, it's like you're not really giving them what they want or need. And then the, you feel the same way about them. I hope that that makes sense. Why is this sun here? This could be you wanting clarity. Why is this sun here? The devil reverse Capricorn energy. That's the unhealthy attachment and breaking free from it. Tell me more about the sun. Ten of swords. Yeah, this is about an ending here. Um, at the end of uh, an unhealthy period or attachment. Can I get one more for the sun? In order to be happy and free. This would make you very happy. The hangman reverse. Interesting. I feel like whatever this is, and I don't know, you might be thinking of this person and wanting them to leave a, an unhealthy commitment. Um, this is a very difficult ending with the Ten of Swords. This is a very difficult situation that someone finds themselves in. They've been stuck in this situation for a long time. And it's time for a change. So either you need a change or you want your person to undergo a change where they break free of something. Why is the six of, let's look at your person. Why is the six of wands reverse? Let me move these over here. Why is the six of wands reverse? Five of pentacles, yes, they're out in the cold, struggling, possibly having financial difficulty. Ace of Swords reverse, yikes. The conversation or the 
communication is not good. Either the communication is blocked completely um, or whatever communication is taking place is just fights, conflict, um, arguments, deception. The Hermit Reverse Virgo Energy. I feel like this is someone that literally you either have blocked them or they ghosted you. Like, I feel like there's a serious disconnect here. I don't know why, maybe because this person left the connection or you left them, but I feel like this person was left out in the cold or feels like they've been left out in the cold and have been like ghosted or just ignored, forgotten. Now feel free to flip this these energies if they if they resonate more. Why is the Seven of Cups reversed? Nine of Swords, worry, anxiety, stress. Five of Cups again. So this is the person over here. I feel like they've probably thought about communicating, but they're really stressed and anxious over the past. Maybe even feel a lot of remorse, regrets here. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles reverse. They've experienced a loss, this person. Either this is a loss, a financial loss, or they miss you. Uh, I've, maybe they dream about you a lot. Um, this is someone that's not really doing well with the choices that they've made. Let's see, what are they secretly thinking or feeling about you? And then we'll jump into, this is my Secret Moon Oracle deck. And then we'll jump into the outcome here for the near future. What is this person secretly thinking or feeling about Sagittarius? What is this person secretly thinking or feeling about Sagittarius? What are they secretly thinking or feeling? I'm taking a risk. Okay, what else? What is this person thinking or feeling about Sagittarius? I feel trapped and I miss you. Yeah, this person, they miss you. They still think about you. I don't know if you're in communication with this person. I don't feel that energy of like a connection here in the sense like, I don't, I feel like you're very far away from each other. Um, and I'm also picking up like timing, like it hasn't been the right time or there's been a long waiting period here. So why is the Ten of Cups here? This is usually an indicator that things are going to be, uh, there's a positive spin on things here. Something positive. Okay, so then there's the King of Cups reverse. Why is the Ten of Cups here? This could also symbolize family. Queen of Wands again. Okay. Yeah, one more for the Ten of Cups. Oops. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Seven of Cups. Options, choices, and then I have the um, Temperance card again. There you are. Once again, the Temperance card at the bottom of the deck. It's like in divine timing, there's going to be some sort of choice to be made here. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. What is the Seven of Cups? Seven of here. Ten of Wands reverse. Letting go of a burden. Why is the Seven of Cups here? And Page of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that's going to apologize or express themselves to you after letting go of a burden. This burden could be fear, it could be an obligation, a responsibility that they have, something that weighs them down. A barrier of some sort. I feel like this is uh, this is going to make you very happy, or perhaps they're going to tell you, "Hey, I miss you. You make me very happy. You're my happy ending here with the Ten of Cups." Um, of course, it's going to be up to you what you're going to do with that information. But you know, we got divine timing here, so I feel like spirit is involved in some way. Um, trust in divine timing, fate and fortune on your side. And, you know, we just have so many cards about timing and even like a, a card about meeting and destiny. 
So, okay, uh, that sounds great. So I'm gonna take this to the extended. We're gonna talk a little bit more about your person, look a little bit more into what their true intentions are towards you. Um, maybe what their next actions are going to be, or I can clarify more of this outcome. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Clarify this page of cups and this 10 of cups together. I also wanna know what this 10 of wands is. So we're probably gonna clarify um, the potential outcome a little bit further and look into your person. And then what's challenging or blocking the connection and what advice does Spirit have for that? I'm gonna pull several Oracle cards. Anyways, so if that sounds good to you, then check out the extended. It's gonna be linked right below this video. If you're on mobile, just click on the title right below the video and the description box will show up and that's where the extended link will be. Thank you so much for watching Sagittarius. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Let me know in the comments if you did. Hit the like button and subscribe if you wanna know um, or wanna see more videos from me. Thanks for watching. Take care.